Hey guys, welcome back to Surfers Travels, and today we're taking a bike ride. Yep, it's Memorial Day weekend, and the weather's beautiful, so we thought we would take a bike ride to a, to a different path than we've ridden on before. Right, and we'll get to that when we after um, a little bit, but because it's not right here, it's just south side of town. So we'll take your ride through town and head out to the bike ride. But first, we're going to run that introduction footage, and we will see you on the other side. Okay. So behind us is our two-year-old Rab Mini e-bikes that we've had, um, we bought two years ago. Really gotten a lot of use out of them, we really enjoy them. Um, you know, they're, they're nice, they're compact, so they, they travel really well. They fit in the back of the truck, um, and you can just, my bike, I really, uh, both the bikes all we really need to do is drop the handlebars down. On my bike I usually drop the seat down so it clears the cap. and. It rides really great in the back of the truck, um, so we can take them wherever we go when we travel. And we've used them in Florida, Texas, you know, we're at a state park someplace. We're there for a couple of days, South Carolina. They, we've ridden them all over the place. Haven't ridden them to those places, but we've ridden them all over no. those places. Yeah. <laughs> but, that yeah. would be a little far. Yeah, but, that's true. Yeah. But we get a lot of use out of them while we're at home, too. Yeah. Um, I think this is our second or third bike right this season so far yeah um it's a beautiful day outside in Bergen, so we decided to go for a bike ride So we found a spot where we taken a little bit of a break. This is Drew Nature, Nature Center. Town of Bergen, Drew's Nature Center, established 1993. Shows deer, er, birds, is that birds? Ducks, Ducks. and snakes. Although I don't believe you know, they're poisonous. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not going to venture in there. Oh. Looks, a, looks a little wet. Looks a little swampy for you? Yeah, a little swampy. But this is something that we never knew existed, so. Yeah. See, we're into more wetlands. This is typically known as the Burgeon Swamp. Diane's not following me, so I can tell you that there are. We've always heard the stories that there's pygmy rattlesnakes in the Burgeon Swamp. I have lived here for. Oh, 30 years and have yet to see one, so I don't know. 
course we don't spend a lot of time in the swamp. Yeah, it looks like it might be an interesting place we can come back and do a hike here at some point. But not today, because we got the bikes and we don't want to be leaving them unattended, even though we could lock them up probably. Don't want to take that chance, losing them. What did you say? There's a big pond back there. Oh. Anything in it? I didn't see anything. It's kind of like a lot of uh, tadpoles and such around it. The sign designates this as the Burgeon Swamp. It was formed over 20,000 years ago as a result of glaciation. Home of rare plants, birds, animals, and a natural historical landmark, uh, Genesee County Bicentennial. So this is where we rode to. And that area we got off and I walked around it was a swamp area. Formed over what? 20,000 years ago? 20,000 years ago. Oh my God. You're almost old enough to remember that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. 20,000 years ago? Yeah, by glaciers. Oh, wow. All right. Off we go. Off we go. So what do you like about the bikes? That you can uh, make it easier to pedal. You can con you have a control that you can adjust to make it easier to pedal when you're like when you're going uphill or just want to be a little lazy and you don't have to pedal as hard, which I do quite often. What don't you like about them? Well, when uh, we bought the bikes, they didn't offer the the woman's version and now they do so that's my goal for the future is uh, to uh, to get the step through right to get the step through bike which would be easier for me to ride yeah because this is just it's actually probably an inch too tall for you yeah or I thereabouts mean, yeah I can get on it but you know sometimes it's a struggle you have to lean the bike over and then you know lift your leg over it where the um, step through would be much easier for me right yeah. you want to show them the, how the controls work well I use the control so I can this indicates the uh, level of um, assist that you get when um, you are riding so right now I have it set at two if you're going up a hill um, it goes how high does it go? You go up to five. Five. Yeah. I've never used five. I've gone up three and four, but uh, I have never used five yet. Right. And then uh, over here, you have a throttle that you can turn and, you know, actually just accelerate without using the pedals at all, which you haven't really used, have you? Not really. Yeah. It takes a little bit of getting used to because it does have a lot of torque and they really pull off. And you have uh, an on-off here, so you can turn that on and off. You got your gear shifter. You got seven speeds on the on the rear wheel. No different gears on the front, so you just got a straight seven speed, which is all you need. Um, on this side over here, you got a bell, and your brakes on each end. Uh, you know, brake handlebar brakes here, and we added the mirror. A rear view mirror. And yep. We added a cell phone holder. Mm-hmm. And then we added this this bag which we carry 
uh, whatever we want, but it, it gives us a spot to put a water bottle. I have a spare tube in here and a tool kit. So we got a few things in it. We can put the camera in there a little bit. This is the battery. And I think it's a 48 amp hour battery. So it's a pretty good sized battery. You can ride probably, I think over 40 miles, 40 to 50 miles with assist. Uh, I, I probably could, probably a lot less if you just rode it like a mini bike and not used any uh, Oh. Pedaling, but that's not the point. Mm -hmm. They do split in half right here and can be folded up. The front wheel does come off. <coughs> right here, it does have a quick release on the front wheel. You can take that off. They have a headlight. And on the back of the luggage rack, they have a tail light. Now, the tail light is, runs on its own battery. The headlight runs off the main battery. The newer bikes, the headlights um, run off of the main bed, or the tail lights run off the main bed. This is how you fold the handlebars. So you clip that and then they retract over just like that. When you put them back, you really want to make sure you lock them. Could be a problem. The pedals collapse and fold in like that so they take up less space. They're governed at a top speed of 20 miles an hour. Yep. Uh, assisted wise and power wise is as fast as you can go. You can ride them faster, but you've got to be pedaling or going down a hill or something. You know, for me, I think the downside to these, but it's really, you know, is that they're heavy. They're 70 pounds of weight. Um, a lot of that is this battery, the motor in the rear wheel, the large tires and wheels on them are heavy. Frame's all aluminum, so that's fairly lightweight, but when you add all that stuff up, it does make it a little bit of a heavy bike. So if you didn't have the assist, it would be a little hard to ride. Right? Yep. They they ride very smooth. Right. And, and the advantage to these is, compared to other bikes, you know, that aren't assisted, is we don't ride them. Right. <laughs> right. This will make you definitely want to ride more. Right. If you want to ride it more, you're going to get more exercise just by default. You may not be getting the same level of exercise that you would have got if you had a regular bike, regular pedal bike with no assist. But if you're not riding it, you're not getting any exercise in this. You're riding it, so you're getting a lot of exercise. So that's our Rad Mini e-bikes. We've had them for a couple of years, so this is, I guess this would be our two-year review. Uh, um, yeah. We definitely we definitely would buy them again. We probably will buy them again. We're probably, you know, like Diane says, our goal is to get the step through bottle and we'll probably get that for her you know probably somewhere in the near future hopefully mm -hmm. yeah um i don't know if i replace mine with a newer one I, mine's fine but, right yeah just to make it a little bit easier for me to wrap to get on and off right uh, you know that's true well i guess we're calling we're end this video right here yep we're actually not home we're at the we're at the fire department. The fire department. So um, we just need to pedal on home. Yeah, not too not too much of a ride from here to get back to our house. But we're we're in the video here, and for everybody out there, um, hope you are safe and have a uh, a safe Memorial Day weekend. And we will see you next week in next week's video. Right. Stay well. Wear your mask. That's right. And, so, and social distance. That's right. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Give us a thumbs up. And we will see you down the road. See you down the road. Bye.